Oh man. All right, guys. I've been reading your guys' comments, and they're awesome. I must say, I really, really appreciate all the help you guys are giving me. I mean, really. A lot of you guys are, are giving me um, thoughts and ideas that I've never had before. Like, hey, that could just be the belt. Well, I mean, why would it just be the belt? To me, it sounds like it's something that's just, you know, uh, metal to metal or something like that. But hey, it could very well be the belt. So that's what I'm going to do today. Because of your comments, um, so many of you guys have written, hey, it's the belt, change the belt. So what I'm gonna do, I still have my um, older AC Delco belt, which you can see right here. The only reason why I changed that AC Delco belt was because I put on a smaller pulley on this alternator and because it's a smaller pulley, my thought process was, hey, if, the, if you keep a longer belt on there, it's gonna kind of defeat the purpose. So I put the next step down belt on there in order to um, help everything to kind of spin faster and therefore getting more uh, current from my alternator. So because so many of you guys have said change the belt or spray water on the belt, um, I'm going to completely change the belt to a different belt. And before, this truck is cold, hasn't been started in a few days and it's freaking freezing outside. <laughs> There's been snow the last couple days and it is cold. If I'm gonna get that squeaking sound, it's gonna be right now when I start it up. So I'm gonna change this belt out first before I start it, and then we'll see if we still get the squeaking sound. If I don't, then thank you guys uh, for that um, suggestion. But if I do, most likely I think it's that tensioner pulley. There we go, need some light there. I'm back to the uh, shop light hanging from my hood. Works perfectly to give me tons of light down here. And this light is 6500K, so it's like daylight. So I get, uh, it seems really clear when I'm down here working like this. Oh man, I hate doing this. Come on. Oh, goodness. All right, I gotta do what I did before. Okay, okay. All right, taking this sucker off even though it's extremely annoying trying to reroute this. It's just sitting there. I gotta pull back that uh, tensioner and get her on the rest of the way. Oh, man. <laughs> I gotta get in the uh, passenger side in order to start it because my wife parked our other rig. By the way, guys, have you seen this? I don't know if you've seen this yet as of this video that you're watching, um, but this is our other Suburban. Just bought it, 2003 Chevrolet Suburban. Bought it from the original owner, always garaged, uh, 67,000 miles on it. Thing is four by four, looks great. Original window sticker, I mean, beautiful leather interior. Such an awesome car. That thing's a mess. Here we go. By the way, if any of you guys are wondering about this cover thing, I ripped it off because it was cracked and all oily and weird looking. I know you can buy those for like 20 bucks at O'Reilly. Um, I just haven't yet. It's just annoying to me that a little rubber cover is $20. I will though, eventually. Here we go. No way! I... I can't believe it. So you're telling me all of that was due to a belt. Due to a belt. No way. I learned something today. Wow, thank you guys. Thank you. All of you guys who commented, the belt, the belt, exclamation point, the belt. 
Wow. That's incredible. Okay. Now, I am stoked, okay? But I do need to ask you one more thing. Community, I need to ask you this because I can't find any information on the, on the internet. Nobody in the parts stores really know. Let me show you. Okay, these. So how do you read this system? I know that it's obviously meant for, um, you know, kind of telling you what the tension of the belt is, if it's too loose, too tight, all that good stuff. But you can see there's two different ones and there's different slots and there's different areas. I mean, what on earth is this all about? Um, do I read this one? Um, do I read this one? Uh, does, does this belt, according to this, mean that it's okay? Uh, this was the reason why I went and got a smaller, well, one of the reasons why I went and got a smaller belt. Um, but my smaller belt puts the area, arrows kind of in the center section here, um, where it seems like they should be to me, just from looking at this and trying to figure out on my own how to read it. All right, so because I'm crazy, I put the uh, other belt back on, my original one, and you can hear it's squealing. So that just absolutely confirms in every way that it was the belt. Okay, so now my question is, does O'Reilly warranty belts? I've got good news, guys. I just called O'Reilly and they said that they do warranty replacements on belts. I kind of gave them a lowdown. They said it should be covered. They did it, guys. I'm super stoked. Um, O'Reilly rocks. I mean, every single time I've ever had to deal with an auto parts store and I've come to O'Reilly, I never have a bad experience with them, never. I mean, doesn't matter what state I'm in, what store I'm at, they're always awesome to me. Anyways, they gave me a, a complete warranty replacement on the belt. It's a Master Pro belt. Like I said, it's the next step down from um, what the recommended size was. Um, so that's pretty cool. I asked the guy, hey, what would cause a belt to chirp? You know, he said any sort of glazing, like any littlest thing, um, and, it, and it would chirp and they just warranty replace it out. I didn't know that belts had a warranty. I thought you buy a belt, once it chirps, you buy a new one. I, I didn't know. So I think what I'm gonna do is keep this until the one that I have on, uh, you know, starts getting bad. So that way, the one I have on I know works. Um, I'll just keep using that one. It's an AC Delco. And uh, as soon as that one goes bad, I'll throw this puppy on and we'll be in business. No way. No way. No. No way! I... I can't believe it.